We are at the ESC Congress in London, a wonderful Congress of the ESC Association. And we're here to talk about ACA, the Acute Cardiovascular Care Associations. I am Madalena Lettino. I'm the president-elect of the association. And I will introduce to you Susanna Price, who has been responsible for the educational committee of our association and is much involved in many of our activity. I would just start asking to Susanna, why our association, in your opinion, is so important? So, Madalena, um, firstly, thanks for asking me to come and talk about this. I think, for me, the key thing about the association is we are unique in the world. We're the only association that takes care of the critically ill cardiac patient throughout the whole of their patient pathway. So, pre-hospital care, emergency department, acute medicine, cardiac intensive care unit, and then hands the patient on to the more general cardiologist or the specialist cardiologist as appropriate. And as I said, we are the only association in the world that does this and our focus is on these most critically ill patients. It's obviously very important to get their care right and previously it had been regarded that a general cardiologist could manage these patients but there have been the developments of cardiology and critical care in parallel and it's no longer safe to say that. We have to be trained in the management of these critically ill patients specifically. Great, so you are underscoring that it doesn't matter where the patient is in the acute phase of his or her disease, yeah. we have to get there and this is our field of interest. So uh, could you please tell us uh, how, uh, what is the educational program of our association? Do you think okay. that we need to transmit something to the people coming to us? Yeah, so we have, uh, a, an eight-pronged approach to education, so pretty well everything that our association does has education underpinning it. So I could start, for example, with the Congress. Our next Congress is going to be in Vienna uh, in October this year. And we have, for the first time now, for the young cardiologists, a specialist training workshops. I believe we're doing ventilation and renal replacement therapy specifically. And then they also have a specific educational track that's running through the whole Congress aim to help them, which leads me nicely on to aiming to help them prepare for the certification examination. Yeah. So we have a certification process, it has two parts to it, the first is theoretical, the second is practical where they maintain an educational training record, they are signed off for the competencies and skills that they need to demonstrate to be a specialist in the field of acute cardiac care, um, and again the examination will be held at the Congress in Vienna. One of the key issues for us is being able to provide educational materials for our young cardiologists. So we have the toolkit, which is very handy. It's pocket-sized. You can take it wherever you go in the hospital, and it gives you key pointers in best evidence-based management for the most critical patients. We have online educational resources, which will be available uh, later this year, by the time we have the Congress. Uh, we also are going to have in the journal an educational uh, track that runs with uh, education in acute cardiac care. And I believe the first of these will be looking at echocardiography for extracorporeal support and we've got international experts in the field who are writing on it. So these are our main educational uh, tracks. Oh great, this is a great program and I, uh, there are many things that will happen in a certain moment, the Congress, let's say the certification, test, but how will we provide, could you please tell something more about this new way to provide education to, uh, to the platform, for example, this new way to, be, to provide a long-lasting education? Of course, so um, the ESC alongside every organization now is moving towards lifelong learning. You have ESC 365, you're able to access things in your own time, at home and online. So to that end, we have developed right from the start based on the second edition of the textbook which is about to come out, um, an online educational program. We're going to have 29 of our courses freely available worldwide and these are addressing what we believe are important but neglected topics in acute cardiac care. So we will have resuscitation and post-resuscitation care that will be available by the Congress. These should incorporate the new ILCOR guidelines which will come out in uh, 2015 October. Uh, we're going to have acute care of the Gooch patient. There's nothing available worldwide for this. We're going to have echocardiography and ultrasound in critical care. 
There are 12 courses as part of that programme. We have management of pain in acute cardiac care and also management of the organ donor, which is very important in our field. Okay. Thank you, Susanna, for everything you have told us. And in this way, I think that everybody has a very clear idea about our educational program. Let me just show to you the textbook that Susanna talked about. This is the last edition of the textbook and uh, will provide all the knowledge concerning acute cardiovascular care and will be very useful in order to preparing the certification exam. And let me you remind that we have this yearly occurring Congress. The following one will be in Vienna, and we will be happy to welcome you there. There will be a full educational track. This is particularly dedicated to young cardiologists, young emergentists, but everybody will be welcomed over there. And now I will thank Susanna for being here with us and saying so many things about our education. And I will thank you all.